Now that some of their stores have been completely destroyed and jobs are lost. And that brings me to my first guest tonight. Remember back in August, just minutes before Michael Brown was fatally shot and killed by Officer Darren Wilson, the team was caught on surveillance tape stealing cigars from the Ferguson market. Now, Brown was also seen strong arming the store clerk as he left with the stolen goods. And on Monday night, after the grand jury's decision was announced and people started wreaking havoc, well, that same store, Ferguson Market, was targeted by protesters. And as you can see right there in a Hannity exclusive video tonight, there are looters it's from inside the store. You get a perspective nobody's seen, literally beginning stealing and looting and destroying property. Now, surveillance video also caught one of the demonstrators lighting the store on fire with accelerant. Watch this. Now, you can see right there he's spraying accelerant. In just a moment, you'll also see video of, I don't know if you call him a good Samaritan, but maybe one of the other looters or perhaps somebody that works there trying to put that fire out and successfully doing so by using milk and some other, some other products that were taken right out of the store. Here now to explain much more on uh, what's going on there is the attorney for the owners of Ferguson Market, and that's Jay Kanzler is with us. Jay, uh, first of all, I'm sorry to the owners. Please express my condolences to them. Um, I want to go back to Absolutely. this video Thank tape. Thank you, Sean. They, they did have their store boarded up, correct? This store was boarded up. You can see the steel bars across the, uh, the doors. The boards were on the inside as well, um, and it didn't stop them. But that's what you get when you have a 37-minute head start on the authorities. Yeah, and as we're looking there in the video right now, that's, that's sort of like the potato chip rack that Michael Brown kind of pushed the, the store clerk into when he was robbing the store, right? That's correct. Yeah. Now, as, as all of this, I mean, is there what is left in the store? How much damage was done? Have you been able to assess the damage at this point? I was by again this morning and they finally cleaned up most of the broken glass, the trash. Um, it is going to be it was worse than August. It'll be in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. And um, it's devastating. This is the second time in three months that this store has been rampaged by looters. And how many employees do you have working at the Ferguson market? Well, they, you have the owners. This is a family-owned business, but in addition to that, there are probably five or six employees that work with the family. Yeah, and, and I don't know if they were able to get insurance a second time after the first incident here. You know, I don't, you know, I had on last night, and we're going to have him back on tonight, uh, Daryl Parks, who's the attorney for the Brown family, and I was asking him about the robbery, asking him about the struggle for the gun, asking about the, the eyewitness uh, testimony before the grand jury saying that Michael Brown you know was charging like a football player full force on officer Wilson you know as you watch this what are your thoughts about what this isn't about Michael Brown Th these are opportunists you know how do you describe them well um, I call them anarchist opportunistic criminals um, they came there um, mm -hmm. knowing exactly what they planned to do, and they accomplished it. Now, this one guy that we're looking at I in this video say, right Sean, now, uh, this one guy, Jay, this is the guy. What he's doing is he's spreading accelerant, and he's starting a fire here inside yes, of the store. Is. Um, now, we're going to see in a few moments here that somebody else comes and tries to put that out, but he's spraying more accelerant to build the fire. He's kind of shooting it into it. It's almost like you do with a, with a grill and charcoal. And maybe he was even using Correct. that type of accelerant that he got out of the store. Um, the That's store exactly did not what he burn, was using, though, right? Sean. Was there a lot of fire it did damage? Not. There was uh, smoke damage and some fire damage, but that lady who is a resident of Ferguson and a regular customer of the store went in there for the sole purpose of putting out that fire. She was not going to let this happen again. Oh, you mean this woman that we watched pouring the milk went in there not as a looter, but went in there as a good Samaritan? As you can see, she I think is this is the first She's from the neighborhood, she, and she... Yeah, she's literally, you can see yeah. her, she's pouring milk and, and anything, but basically she can get her hands on to put that fire out. If that woman didn't do this, that store would have burned to the ground like others, right? Absolutely. That's how a lot of the st fire started, and yet she said, you're not doing this to my community, not to my store, and my clients can't thank her enough. Wow. I mean, what a, in the midst of, of madness and chaos, you know, you, you get those good people that just come out of the woodwork. You can see there that the fire went out. Um, anyway, we really appreciate you uh, being with us. Thank you so much, and our best to the uh, owners of the Ferguson Market, sir. My pleasure, Sean. Thank you.